exercise 1.3 first question you are given two functions and you are asked to find gof so first we write gof is a function from domain of f what's the domain of f it is 1 3 4 2 codomain of g what is the codomain of g it is 1 3 have a look on the question this is a function from domain of f to codomain of this. Domain of f is 1, 3, 4. Codomain of g is 1, 3. Now, your domain of this function has three members. So, you have three ordered pairs. So, first g o f at 1. Then g o f at 2. Sorry, 3. And then g o f at 4. We find this. Now, this means g of f of 1 what is f of 1 it is 2 so here you have 2 remember the meaning of this is f of 1 is 2 f of 3 is 5 f of 4 is 1 g of 1 is 3 g of 2 is 3 g of 5 is 1 so what is f of 1 it is 2 now we apply g what is g of 2 it is 3 so 1 is associated with 3. So if I write here as a final conclusion, G O F it will be 1 comma 3. Your 3 ordered pairs. Next ordered pair will be 3 comma something. Next ordered pair will be 4 comma something. Now for 3, on 3 you are going to apply first F and then G. What is F of 3? It is 5. So this is 5. Now you are going to apply G. What is G of 5? It is 1. So 3 is associated with 1. So 3 comma 1. Now next G of at 4. So on 4 you apply F first and then G. What is F of 4? F of 4 is 1 f of 4 is 1 now on 1 you are going to apply g so what is g of 1 it is 3 so 4 is associated with 3 so this is your composition finally your three ordered pair g o f at 1 is 3 g o f at 3 is 1 and g o f at 4 is 3 this is answer to the first question second uh, it's like uh, standard theory sum so if you want you can try it we'll go to third question there you are given two functions first fx equals to modulus x and second one gx equals to modulus of 5x minus 2 now we we want fog and gof that's the question so first fog at x so here you apply on x g first so g of x now what is the formula for g that is this one so modulus of 5 x minus 2 formula for g now what is the rule for function uh, f you put modulus of this inner expression if you put here 100 then modulus of 100 if I put 2 then modulus of 2 if I put 3 then the modulus of 3 so modulus of this that is a rule for function but double modulus has no meaning here so you can write just modulus of x minus 2 this is a composition whether you write double modulus or single modulus that's not important so we write this composition I repeat this step here rule for function f is x become modulus x if I put here 7 then modulus 7 so f rule for this is you put one more modulus for this but double modulus is not important so i'll just place this now go to reverse g o f at x so on x you are going to apply f first and then g now what is f x modulus x here now what is the rule for function g this number into phi minus 2 and then entire modulus or another way of saying this is in the formula of function g x is replaced by modulus x i repeat 
in the formula of g in place of x you write this inner expression i repeat in the formula of g in place of x you write modulus x so remaining things as it is this outer modulus as it is 5 as it is minus 2 as it is just in place of x you are going to write modulus x so this is a composition i repeat g of modulus x means in the formula of g in place of x you write modulus x so outer modulus as it is 5 as it is in place of x you are going to write modulus x and minus 2 as it is so this is another composition you can see that these two are not equal we observe here f o g is not equals to g o f these two are not equal In the fourth question, you are given this function, and you are asked to show that f o f at x equals to x. Image of x is itself. So, in another language, you can say that this f o f is identity function. I. Meaning of the question is this. It's identity function here. Image of x is itself. That means this function is identity i. Okay, so here, like previous question only, composition of f with itself two times. So we start with this, f o f at x. So on x first f is applied, and then again f is applied. Now what is the formula for f? That is this expression entire, four x plus three upon six x minus four. I've just copied this expression. Now So now on this again we apply f. Now, what is the rule for function f? That is this entire expression. If I have here for example zero, then what will your answer? Four into zero plus three upon six into zero minus four. So, in the formula of f, in place of x, you are going to put this. I repeat, you are going to apply f. So in the formula of f. In place of x, you are going to put this. Or if you cannot understand this way, you can call this as, for example, m here, small m, this inner expression. Now, what is f of m? Go back to this. It is 4m plus 3 upon 6m minus 4. I repeat what I did. I called this as small m. So this is f of m. Now, what is f of m? It is four into m plus three upon six into m minus four. Now re-substitute m. What was m? It was this bracket. So now I'll write this: four into m. What was m? That was this bracket. Four x plus three upon six x minus four plus three upon six into M. What was m? That was this bracket. 4x plus 3 upon 6x minus 4 minus 4. I repeat this step because this very important step. What I, I again I want to apply f. So imagine this is small m. So this is f of m. Now what is the rule for function f? That is here if I go back to definition. 4m plus 3 upon 6m minus 4. Now reverse substitution. What was m? That was this bracket. So I'm putting the value of m. Four into instead of m this bracket plus three as it is. Six um, instead of m again this bracket minus four. Now we'll just simplify. So if I simplify, this is four into four x plus three plus three into six x minus four upon here six into four x plus three. Minus four into six x minus four. After taking LCM, that six x minus four, six x minus four will get cancelled. Remember, x is not two by three here. Otherwise, this is undefined. Okay, now you simplify this. Twelve plus six three the eighteen, so thirty x. 
what about this 12 minus 12 0 now this is 24 minus 24 x x will get cancelled 18 no 6 3 the 18 plus 16 here uh, 16 here so sorry this is 18 18 plus 16 so it would be uh, so I'm sorry here this is 34 and this is also uh, this will get cancelled 18 plus 16 so this is also 34 so this will get cancelled so this is x so f o f at x equals to x and this is true for every x other than 2 by 3 so here what you have shown composition of f with itself is identity function if you reverse you will get the same thing so it's like this f o g is identity and g o f is also identity so this must be inverse of this so here you can say that inverse of f will be itself right? you imagine g here then inverse of g will be f and the other condition if you interchange in like f o g and g o both are equal so this is here true inverse of function is itself that is if you want to write like this f inverse x equals to the same expression 4x plus 3 upon 6x minus 4 where x should not be 2 by 3 that is what I am trying to tell you is inverse of a function is itself that is this one this is a given function so in the fifth first you are asked to see whether inverse exists or not so you can notice here f of 1 is 10 f of 2 is also 10 just have a look on the question what's the conclusion immediately not 1 1 this is not a 1 1 function so therefore in the first case f inverse doesn't exist you know exist condition for existence of inverse of a function it should be 1 1 and on 2 here not a 1 1 second question if you look at it there um, f of 5 if you look at the question sorry their function g is given g of 5 is 4 and g of 7 is also 4 just have a look on the question this the meaning of this one is there is ordered pair 5 comma 4 that means g of 5 is 4 there is ordered pair 7 comma 4 that means g of 7 is 4 so from this again not 1 1 i mean many 1 function not 1 1 so therefore inverse of g doesn't exist does not exist inverse doesn't exist here also Question number three, third sub question. There you are given h equals to set of ordered pair 2, comma 7, 3, comma 9, 4, comma 11, and 5, comma 13. And uh, h is a function from here, h is a function from 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 7, 9, 11 and 13. So here 2, 2, 7, 3, 2, 9, 4, 2, 1 and 5, 2. Uh, if you look at in a diagram, directly it's obvious here. 2, 3, 4 and 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. 2, 2, 7, 3, 2, 9, 4, 2, 11, and 5, 2, 13. So you can see that f is clearly 1, 1, clearly 1, 1 function. And what's rf here? You notice, sorry, rh range of the function. Set of images 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, 9, 11, 13. So it is codomain. It is codomain. 
so f is h is on to also so not a f h i'm sorry here so here h is on to so h is 1 1 h is on to so therefore h inverse from where to where this to this b to a 7 9 11 and 13 this exist 2 2 3 4 5 this exist here you are asked just to check whether it exists or not so you, this is your answer but if you want to find the inverse function here so it would have four ordered pairs seven comma something nine comma something eleven comma something and thirteen comma something number of ordered pairs is always equals to number of elements in the domain this is always true so now you just reverse it you see here f of 2 is 7 so f inverse 7 is 2 just to reverse the ordered pair f of 3 is 9 so f inverse 9 is 3 here 4 is 11 so 11 is 4 here 5 is 13 so 13 is 5 this way this is the inverse function just reverse the ordered pair this is h inverse this is given function h So here first you are given this function from this to this to R and formula is this. You are asked first to show that it is 1 1. So let's prove it. You recall it. You, If you remember you need to start with this. Suppose f of x1 equals to f of x2. This just to remind you. From previous section for every x1 from the domain of the function now what is f of x1 that is x1 upon x1 plus 2 this is x2 upon x2 plus 2 here instead of x you write x2 here instead of x you write x1 you just simplify this you will get x1 equals to x2 this much you can verify so therefore you are shown that f of x1 equals to f of x2 it implies x1 equals to x2 and therefore f is 1 1 function now here directly if you read the question you are asked to find inverse so now to find f inverse actually you need to show that it should be on to so you prove this is for you prove that f is on to you know it you must be knowing now in the question it is not asked that so i'm not doing directly i'm finding inverse so one one we have shown it has to be on to then and then you can get the inverse remember so we find f inverse so it will be you know function from b to a so r to close interval minus one to one now this is very standard method to get the formula for inverse the method is as we used to do for on to ness so you assume function equals to y this is same as what we do what we were doing for on to function fx equals to y now put the formula for fx now you get x as a subject of the expression so x equals to x plus 2 into y so x equals to xy plus 2y i want x as a subject of expression so i'll take this one on this side from this 2 i'll take x common so 1 minus y equals to 2y take on this side so 1 minus y and therefore what is x that is 2y upon 1 minus y so this become the formula for inverse but usually we write inverse in terms of variable x so therefore f inverse x i'm just writing this formula but in terms of variable x so 2x upon 1 minus x the x should not be 1 remember this is the condition so this is the formula for inverse the same thing we did for proof of on to ness if you remember take fx equals to y 
put the formula for function and now make x as a subject of expression so this is just simple algebra so x equals to this one this is formula for inverse function but this is in terms of y i want to write in terms of x so i wrote just 2x upon 1 minus x so this is final formula for inverse function so next question this is again an important example function is from r plus 2 close into 4 to infinity r plus means set of all non-negative numbers that is either positive or zero now first you are asked to show that f is invertible that means you show that f is an inverse so we show that f is 1 1 and on 2 first 1 1 and on 2 you know it how to do it but i'll prove it for you suppose i'll start with this x1 is not equals to x2 suppose two numbers are different then obviously the squares will be different remember here x1 x2 belongs to r plus otherwise squares might be uh, equal but they belongs to r plus now you add 4 on both the sides so x1 square plus 4 obviously is not equals to x2 square plus 4 now what is this this is f of x1 just go back to definition what is this this is f of x2 so you are shown that f is 1 1 elements are different images are different so f is 1 1 now on to part here so you know square of any number is always greater than or equal to 0 I'll add 4 on both the sides so greater than or equal to 4 what is this fx so fx is greater than or equal to 4 so that means rf is 4 range is greater than or equal to 4 so it goes to 4 to infinity you know such things you did in 11th which is same as codomain you look at it codomain codomain is 4 to infinity so f is on to here this is very standard quadratic function you know and such things you did in 11th also so f is 1 1 f is on 2 therefore f inverse from 4 to infinity to r plus exist inverse exists here now next part is formula so you know let function equals to y this is a method to get the formula we want the formula for f inverse now what is fx x square plus 4 equals to y now we make x as a subject of expression so x square equals to y minus 4 so x will be here mm, root y minus 4 why have not taken plus or minus you look at it from where x comes x comes from here r plus remember so this cannot be negative x belongs to r plus remember so you cannot have minus here only plus so now this become inverse of the function so as per your textbook f inverse y is equal to this one the formula root y minus 4 normally we write in terms of x only but here in textbook it is given in terms of y so i wrote in the same form f inverse y equals to this much what's the method i repeat take function equals to some new variable you can take y z anything write the formula for function make the x as a subject of expression so we are getting this normally when you take square root you have plus or minus but why written only plus not minus because of this so this is the inverse function so here a function from r plus to minus infinity minus y to infinity given by this quadratic show that f is invertible and inverse formula like previous question this is a good example so first show that f is 1 1 
and on to right. once you show that you can say that f is invertible so this i leave it for you you must be knowing try it not a big task this is very important part in the exam also you need to show that it is one one and on to you did one entire exercise about one oneness and on toness so you can do this now uh, here uh, so once we show that it is one and on to you can write f inverse from close minus five to infinity to r plus exist so now to find formula for f inverse to find f inverse that is the formula for f inverse so what's the method let fx equals to y this is the standard technique take function equals to y what is the function 9x square plus 6x minus 5 equals to y now procedure is you make x as a subject of expression from this now from this it's not easy so what you can do it you can make it perfect square 9x square plus 6x now you can just think for a while if i want to make it perfect square i need to add plus 1 if I add plus 1, I need to write minus 1. So, minus 6 equals to y. What I did? Adding and subtracting 1. If I add 1, I need to write minus 1. Minus 5 is already there. So, minus 6. This is just minus 5. What I did? I have reduced this one into perfect square. It's 3x plus 1 the whole square. I will take this one on the other side. So, y plus 6. I hope this you might be knowing from 10th standard any quadratic expression you can make it perfect square by just setting the last term so adding one subtracting one so this become minus six minus five was already there if you combine these two this is just minus five now get x so you have 3x plus one equals to root of y plus six why not written again plus or minus look at x comes from r plus so this never be negative so you only plus normally when you take square root you have plus or minus but here this minus will not come only plus will come because x is positive so now you can find x very easily root y plus 6 minus 1 by 3 so now it is purely x equals to some expression so this has to be inverse function so therefore f inverse y equals to this expression that is root y plus 6 minus 1 by 3